thinking about it. Maybe uh, other members of the chamber, but maybe it's not possible. Just one thing to be stand up here and tell you, you know, I'm going to stand for this, I'm going to stand for that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to tell you why I stand for what I believe in. First, I'm going to stand for education. I've been on the local school board in Texas County for 12 years and qualified for four more years. Uh, it's going to be unopposed. So they're satisfied with the job that I've been doing. Now, I've been in those meetings where you have to make the tough decisions. You know, do you furlough teachers? Do you go to a four-day work week and then you put an extra burden on your parents to find somebody to keep the kids on Friday? Do you do a reduction in force? You know, to eliminate that drama and music class. That's not a required subject. You can save some money there. That'll be easy enough. But then you think about that student that really wasn't engaged, really didn't care about school because she got involved in drama and, and music. And it, it really brought her out of the shed. You know, that student not only went on to graduate, but uh, I see her quite often at Lake Park. And she, uh, as I said, she's a sophomore PSU now. So, you know, I don't believe where you start out in life automatically determines where you end up. It just determines your starting point. I was in a meeting with Governor Deal a few months ago, and he brought out an interesting fact, and an alarming fact, uh, at that it's 70% of the inmates in our prisons do not have a high school diploma or GED. So you bet. I, I believe that education is the single most important factor in, in determining where you end up in life. Second, I'm going to stand for our, our small business people. Uh, along with two of my brothers, we, we run a small business. We know what it takes to have to make a payroll. When you've got other people depending on you to make the right decisions, or they've got a job where they can support their family. You know, I understand that high taxes and these burdensome regulations, uh, it takes money away from these businesses that they can use to reinvest and grow and create jobs. You know, I'm going to stand up for our farmers. I was raised on a farm. Got two brothers that are still operating the same farm that's been in our family for 150 years. And my hope and my prayer that 150 years from now, somebody in our family is still on that farm making a living. You know, I understand agriculture in Georgia is you know, the number one industry, but for so many people, it's, it's much more than that. You know, it's a way of life. And that way of life is being threatened you know, every day. You know, our farmers are being regulated by right out of business. You know, there's something wrong when a farmer in another country can grow a crop, harvest it, and ship it here and sell it cheaper than what our local farmers can even grow it for, much less harvest it. You know, We've uh, got regulations coming out of Washington that this is bad for our farmers. Uh, the latest rule uh, coming from the EPA is uh, called uh, the uh, Clean Water Act. And what they're seeking to do is redefine uh, what constitutes waters of the USA. They're wanting to change it. It used to be defined as a navigable stream. Now it's pretty much anywhere a drop of rain falls would be now in their jurisdiction. You know, it's not just going to hurt our, our farmers and our forestry people. It's going to hurt the developer that's trying to develop the subdivision to, to, to build houses. It hurt the, uh, anybody that owns a piece of property they're going to build a house on. It's just going to add more red tape to, to what people they're going to have to jump through. You know, I promise you, you know, I stand up against this, this policy and, and other radical policies coming out of Washington. You know, at the end of the day, the two most important things to me is faith and family. And I'm going to stand up for both. Yep. I humbly ask for your prayers today, your support going forward, and your vote on November 4th. And uh, if you're not in my district, uh, I encourage you to look at my map. You know people who do live in the district. Call them. Tell them you know who to vote for. I appreciate it. Thank you.